Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about the Eternals. Eternals, Marvel's next movie. A movie that is scheduled to come out on November 5th, so less than a week from now. This movie will be released worldwide and everyone will finally be able to see the wonder that is Eternals. And unfortunately, the excuses that a lot of us probably expected to come out in defense for this movie have already begun. Now, when it comes to Eternals, Eternals is a movie that I see just like Captain Marvel, just like Ghostbusters 2016, just like Black Panther, just like Black Widow, just like Shang-Chi, where one of the main selling points for those movies is look at the diversity, look at the representation, aren't we being progressive? And anytime anyone calls them out on their bullshit, they immediately start using all of the usual buzzwords that you're used to hearing by now. You keep hearing it over and over and over again, and Eternals is no different. The only thing that's probably different is that this is happening before the movie has even been released. At least when it comes to Ghostbusters and all those other movies that I mentioned, they waited until after the movie was released in order to start using those excuses. But for Eternals, it has started before the movie has even come out. So let's head on over here. So this is from MCU The Direct. They made this Twitter post saying that Eternals has been review bombed on IMDb, receiving hundreds of one-star reviews from users criticizing the movie's LGBTQ plus representation despite not having watched the movie. So their main defense for these one-star reviews is that it doesn't count because it's coming from people who have not seen the movie yet because like i said the movie's not out yet it's supposed to come out on november 5th okay okay uh fair that's fair uh you don't like it when people give movies reviews despite the not despite the fact that they have not seen the movie right that's what you're saying okay okay uh let's head on over to the the uh, the article and this is the image that they're using, right? They're saying, look at all those one-star reviews. 450 people gave it a one-star review. This is awful because they have not seen the movie yet. Okay, so what about this then? What about this? What about the fact that this 450 people gave it a one-star review? 934 people gave it a 10-star review. How come you're not calling out these people? How come you're not calling out people who are review bombing it up? How come you're only calling out people giving it a one star review, but not the people who gave it a 10 star review? Or what about the people giving it a nine star review or an, or an eight star review or a seven star review or six star or five star? What about all of those people? How come you're not calling them out for uh, reviewing a movie despite not having seen the movie? That's your main defense against uh, the people who gave it a one-star review is that they have not watched the movie. So how come you're not calling these people out who also have not seen the movie? How come you're not writing articles calling them out saying people review people giving uh, Eternals a positive re review despite having not seen the movie? How come you're not calling them out? Do you see what I mean? Do you see the bias that you're seeing from a lot of these outlets for these movies that come out of uh, Disney or Warner Brothers or any other studios? How for years we've been talking about how there are certain these websites, why you shouldn't take them seriously is because there's such an obvious bias for these movies. Because they specifically called out the people giving it a one star review and not the people giving it a 10 star review. Even though they, just like the people giving it a one-star review, have also not seen the movie. See, this is what I mean. They're already making excuses for this movie. Already they're making excuses. And you know that moving forward, we're just going to keep hearing more and more excuses for this movie. If you say anything negative, you're a bigot, or you're an istophobe, or you're an ist, or whatever, and so on and so forth. You've heard it time and time again. It's exhausting at this point. But anyway, I don't think any of us are actually surprised. I think a lot of us kind of expected people to defend Eternals because it's being touted as a movie that has all this representation. We have a sex scene because that's what everyone wanted to see from the MCU. We have an openly gay couple. We have a gay kiss and blah, 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 whatever. Who gives a shit about any of that? Do they talk about the characters? Do they talk about the story? Do they talk about the directing? Do they talk about the cinematography? Do they talk about the sound design? Do they talk about anything that people actually give a shit when it comes to movies? 
No, they don't talk about any of that. They just say, this movie is diverse, so obviously that means you should like it. And if you say anything negative, we're going to call you a bigot or an istophobe. But anyway, guys, just my quick thoughts on this whole situation with Eternals. Like I said, a lot of us kind of expected this to happen, and you, can, you only know that it's going to continue from now on. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Remember to leave a like, share the video, subscribe if you haven't, ring the bell for notifications, and I hope to see you for the next video. Bye for now.